Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Hermes Jaguar Quetzal scarf and that's really dressed up my outfit with a blue shirt and a black cardigan. I have pearl earrings today. And this just really helps pull everything together. So if you're going to invest in a scarf, Hermes scarves are definitely a great investment. Hi guys. So the video you're about to watch is my updated 2020 bag collection. I did lose some footage of my Aspen Lottie bag, so you'll see clips from my last video. Hope you're having a great day, and I hope you enjoy the video. So one of the bags that's still in my collection is the YSL Monogram Clutch. Here is a look at her. You can see the leathers. Great. This has been one of my most used bags. So look at the inside. It holds a fair amount and is for great for running around everyday errands. If you're looking for this, this retails for say about 725 USD. It did not go up on the last price increase, which is great. I'll put that away in a second. I have also retained for Saint Laurent. My camera bag in the mini loo size. I really like the hardware. The size here, there's a matte black chain detail. This is canvas with glitter, and I feel like these colors are very versatile. I use this a lot for running around. There's card slots there, nothing here. So this was a nice change. I didn't want to have all black, all black. But for my Toy Lulu, I did let that bag go. And that was because I already had these two. It was not getting much use. And I, you know, didn't really like the toy size anymore. Because this bag held more. So I want to maybe get a small size bag in the future. But even for the back here, it holds quite a bit. As opposed to the Toy Lulu. So I did sell that, and in its place, I picked up this Lady Dior behind this. And this is away. a vintage Lady Dior. I really love cheetah print. I was looking for something different. The Dior charms. I polished it. They were pretty tarnished, and it looks brand new. This bag did have a lot of structural issues, but it was marked down to like $600, which is a steal. Did not come with a strap. Here's a look at the back. This is canvas. There are no feet on the bottom. Look at the zipper. And I did create a bag insert that you can see here. And I lined it with foam for the structure. But I was looking for something more versatile. And this bag has definitely done that in place of the Toy Lulu. They're similar sizes. Um, I have this wrapped for the handle. But you can tell that this holds a lot more. And it's nice to have bags with some different color prints. The pink was beautiful for the Toy Lulu. But I like that this is a little bit more sassy. This is a look at my Dior two-way bag. This one was purchased vintage from Japan. Let's look at the inside. It's just a great little everyday bag. Before I get to my Hermes bags, this is the Longchamp. I, it's changed names. It's now the XS size in the Le Pliage line. Holds the most of my mini bags and is a great alternative to the Prada reissue. I'll do a video on that soon. It's very scratch resistant for leather. Smells amazing. 
it is stuffed right now for the shape so you can see it's lined with the longchamp nylon and just a great little everyday bag this is the hermes evelyn pick this up in the spring it's a little mini bag made of epson this is the color cognac pick this up from japan this was my one of my birthday presents I did let the toolbox bag go, and that's because it was too big. And I didn't use it once, sold it back to Fashion File. And what did I do? I paid off my credit card with it. So look at the inside with the Samarga insert. Unlike some of the newer bags, this is not detachable. But it's just a great little everyday bag. I do have a Rodeo I attach to it. This is one of my favorite bags. I'm going to use more once it stops raining. Hermes Berlingo. It's a vintage bag. Made my own insert. There are pockets behind it. It's very nondescript, very understated. This can be moved um, to make it shoulder or crossbody bag. It's got a nice zipper. If I can do it one handed. <laughs> this I picked up with um, once I sold one of my necklaces. I love the little H detail here. I just, I was looking for something and this was cut, what caught my eye, that in the trim bag. So I'm gonna use this more, probably in the spring, summer. It's Blanc, so I was a little scared with the white bag, but I like having something different in my Okay, collection. for small bags for Coach, you've seen my um, downstairs, the Cassie. This is the Gracie, it's a top handle bag doesn't hold much but I like that it's a red pop of color this is a vintage Madison bag feet at the bottom and I like the Ruru that's on there and gives it some color look at the inside this is one of my fun everyday errand bags if I don't need much my coach Cassie this is also one of the most used bags. In fact, I'm using it now with the great pebbled leather. If it'll focus. And the back of the Coach Cassie. Okay, you've seen this before. This is the Aspinall bag. One of my new favorite little bags. I want this very badly in another color as well. Love this aqua. I've taken it out once or twice but it's gonna be an everyday bag. It's got feet on the bottom, and for the price point, it packs a punch. It came from Selfridges. It is the last bag I bought of 2020. So I've gotten a lot of questions. This is the Lizard Silk Mini, or not Mini, Small Size Lottie. It does come with a dust bag. If you order from the website, it will come with a box. It's got the litter box opening. Inside, I keep it stuffed, but there is a, this bag, a zipper compartment. Um, this leather is very durable. I've gotten a lot of questions about that. I like to say it feels like Hermes Epsom. It does come with four feet. So another look at the back. This style bag is on sale, it does come with a top handle. If you're interested in Chanel bags, the chain strap is very similar to a Chanel. So it might be a good intro bag to see if that's the style you like. Thank you for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.